Welcome once more to Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Today I'm going to bring to your attention two great fiction titles that are very highly recommended. The first book is Mirrorland by Carol Johnson. This is published by Scribner and it retails for $24.99. It is a very complex psychological tale involving two sisters. The one is Catriona, nicknamed Cat, and the other is Elise, who goes by the name L-E-L. And um, they grew up in um, Scotland, and they were very, very close. And um, then as um, the years progressed, there was almost a parting um, of the ways. They had fantasies of, of going on a pirate ship and big adventures, and, and the book mentions this, and it says this is when their second life begins. So um, Kat has gone to Los Angeles. Um, Elle and her husband Ross are still in Scotland. Now Elle um, ha has mysteriously vanished. She was out on a boat and she's gone. And the question is, is she dead? Has she gone away uh, to parts unknown? Um, did she die by her own hand or, or did she die at all? So this brings Kat reluctantly back to Edinburgh and uh, she wants to see what happened to her sister. Now there's a lot of mis very, very deep mystery going on as um, Ross is an interesting character too. Um, he's written well and the question is, is he part of the reason for the disappearance? And uh, the way Carol Johnson layers the book, uh, she brings us deeper and deeper and deeper and Kat returns to the house that she and Elise grew up in and it's almost like there's ghosts at every corner. Uh, they had a great life together, but there's still things that seem to haunt them from all these many years later. And the question that we want to know is, is Elise still alive? And so uh, it's written very, very subtly that um, page by page we get deeper and deeper into the mystery. So uh, if you're looking for a really deep mystery, and um, this is, well, the first life, the second life, and this is basically the third life in Mirrorland. And um, like I said, it is a book that is very complex. Um, Carol Johnson has done a, an, a, an amazing job of bringing all the characters together, keeping the mystery just very subtly under the surface. So we're not quite sure how this is all going to end, but it's a very interesting conclusion. And uh, it's definitely, Mirrorland is a book that you should definitely consider adding to your collection. The second book of note is Mary Higgins Clark and Alifair Burke writing Peace of My Heart. This is the seventh book of the Under Suspicion series and the sixth book she has written with Alifair Burke. Regrettably, Mary Higgins Clark, who had a long career in mystery writing passed away in January of 2020, but she certainly leaves behind quite a writing legacy with countless bestsellers. This reportedly is um, the last book as she was working on the book um, at the time she died. So if, if, if this is the final words from Mary Higgins Clark, she has gone out on a massively high note. This is a very interesting book. It, it features again Laurie Moran who is part of the Under Suspicion series. Now she's about to get married to a former co-host um, of the show Alex Buckley. Now they're getting ready to get married and suddenly uh, Alex's nephew Johnny who, who is out uh, with friends and with a babysitter, uh, he suddenly vanishes. The babysitter is just distracted and he goes missing. The question is, did he wander away or was he abducted? And as we find out, he was abducted. Um, we see Johnny from time to time. He's first in the trunk of a car and then he's taken to a house and the man who has abducted him um, wants him to go by a new name of Daniel now, that he is no longer his old name and he has a new life. Uh, as we find out, there is more to this story as it also involves Laurie's father who was a New York police detective. 
um, he, he um, uh, her father's retired, and it appears that he helped put people behind bars that shouldn't have been put behind bars. So in many ways, this is like a revenge kidnapping abduction. And uh, as we find out, um, Lori is frantic to get to the root of the abduction. There's no um, real kidnapping notes. It's just, um, it seems a case of uh, this abductor wants to bring Johnny into his world and make him obedient to him. So it's, 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 it's typical Mary Higgins Clark. There is no real violence. Um, as we find in her books, they're, they're, they're well, um, their mystery is light. And uh, she, she always wrote, you know, she never relied on horrible scenes, but um, with Alifer Burke, uh, who is a great writer in her own uh, regard, uh, the two team up so well, and it's a shame that this is the end of the series because, like I said, they've definitely gone out on a very high note. So if you're looking for an exceptional read, Peace of My Heart will steal your heart from first page to last. And uh, once again, uh, I say thank you, Mary Higgins Clark, for a most amazing career. So those are the two books this week I wanted to bring your attention. Hopefully when you're deciding what books you want to purchase, uh, these two will be at the top of your list. So thanks as always for watching us. Keep watching us on Facebook and on YouTube. And there are other reviews uh, from Paul Suter on Goodreads. So we'll see you real soon. Stay safe, stay social distancing, stay sane, and do stay in touch. Thanks again. Bye for now.